YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Moose back again with another video today, man. And as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about how you guys could resell your sneakers, where you guys could resell your sneakers without using GOAT or StockX. We're going to get into that today, man. But make sure before we do that, you follow me on Instagram at Moose Track Shop, as well as smash the subscribe button. We're on our way to 10,000. We're almost there. We're about 750 subscribers away as the time I'm filming this video. Um, so we're getting there, man. 10,000 on the road to 100K. I Think we can do it man make sure to also hit the like button comment down below it really helps me out um, with you know getting on the YouTube algorithm and, and getting my video out there to most people as possible with all that being said man let's get right into this so there are a few different ways to go about reselling sneakers there's quite a few ways actually and I do know a lot of people love to use StockX and goat and all those kind of apps to help resell their sneakers because one it's really simple it is that's a pro to the whole StockX and goat side of things but the downsides for me is that one they take a huge percentage you know a huge fee um, I think I mean obviously you can build up or build down I guess you could say when it comes to the percentage um, but I think it's like 12% or something like that to start out with so that's one huge downside to you know selling on those apps and one reason I don't like to do so myself and the other main reason being that you can't really build your own brand and you can't really build your reputation selling on those apps so there's certain resellers that kind of like to be on their own and kind of secret and no one really knowing about them just because they like to only sell on those apps, which is totally fine. This video might not be for you, uh, but for the people that want to build their own brand and resell shoes to all sorts of people all over the world, then StockX, as you know, is not one of your best options because the, the buyer does not know who is selling the shoe to them. They just think they're getting it from StockX, so they don't know where it's coming from. You can't really build a reputation. People aren't going to know if you're legit or not, all that kind of stuff. So those are kind of the, the reasons I don't like to use those two apps, um, at least too much, obviously we have to use them to you know to check prices and stuff like that but when it comes to actually buying and selling on those platforms I'm not a huge fan personally and I'm gonna get into how you guys can resell sneakers without using those apps so the number one place that I sell my sneakers is Facebook more importantly Facebook groups um, there's tons of sneaker Facebook groups you guys can join and I'm actually gonna put um, a screen recording right here I'm gonna play one right now on my phone and you guys are gonna see all the groups that I'm in that you guys can join as well because I know that's probably my most asked question is what groups am I in um, and I can't answer all you guys with the, the same question over and over um, so I'm gonna you know kind of screen record here on Facebook and go through that as well as what it's like to post a picture or post a pair of shoes for sale on a group um, so we're gonna get into that man so it should be on the screen right now I'm on Facebook here's my main profile uh, but if you want to go to groups and then you can see here, let me scroll to all groups. So here's some of the groups I'm gonna show you guys first. I'm gonna go through some. Some of them are my random, you know, like local town groups or something like that. But for the most part, these are all sneaker groups. Um, but yeah, you guys can see all that. You can just search those names on the group section on Facebook and you guys can join those groups and be ready to go. So as you can see, I'm on the sneaker broker group here and I'm going to post a photo for sale. I'm gonna post a shoe for sale, obviously. I'm gonna go with this guy here and usually you always wanna tag your pictures. As you can see, I have my business card down there. Um, so this one is a size, so I'm gonna say Jordan NC to Shy. This one's a size nine woman's brand new and I'll post this one for 175 uh, we'll say shipped and all you gotta do is click post and it's posted for sale I'm gonna turn off for sale format because it makes it cleaner and there you go so now people are gonna see that post on the sneaker broker group um, and you can do that for so many different groups and all the shoes you have um, you just keep doing the same kind of thing and you can do that for all the groups that you are in and post that same shoe in all the different groups and you do that for all the shoes that you do have um, so yeah you can do that people are gonna message you they're gonna you know see that post and be like hey I'm looking for these they might negotiate with you and, and you guys can you know know what to do from there you guys can see if you can make money on it whatever you got to do um, but that is how you post something on Facebook it's very 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 simple I showed you guys the groups now which has been highly requested um, so definitely check that out but yeah man I mean that's how simple it is really with Facebook I know a lot of people think it's a little too complex for them or something and they like Instagram only and all that um, but Facebook's really really simple so now that I posted that you know people are gonna comment and and, and see if they want to buy them or not who knows but uh, that's all you got to do for that so I would say I sell probably 75%, maybe 80% of the shoes I do sell are on Facebook. Um, I know I do posts obviously on Instagram every day and all that kind of stuff, and I have a lot of followers, uh, but that's really just to showcase what I have. Obviously there are people that do buy on there, uh, but yeah, a ton of my sales come from Facebook, a ton of my connections I've built came from Facebook, so it's definitely, definitely a good way to go when selling shoes. So next up, um, the next place you can resell your sneakers is Instagram. Now with Instagram, 
you kind of need to build up your your following before you do sell because you know you got to have people that are seeing your post and that want to buy your shoes but obviously everyone has to start somewhere I mean I started with you know a couple of my friends following me that's it with like two posts and now I'm at like 16,000 followers with almost a thousand posts for sale so I know everyone starts somewhere you're not gonna just start with a million followers or whatever you know what I mean it took me like two years to kind of build up my Instagram to where it is today and I do have a video on how to grow on social media if you want to check that out I'll try and link it up here if I can if not just go to my channel you can find the video somewhere um, on there uh, but check that one out definitely if you're interested in growing your Instagram and your Facebook and stuff like that um, when it comes to the reselling side of things so I know a lot of you guys know how to work Instagram and how to post things and stuff um, but I want to go through and again and screen record and show you the details kind of of how I do post up for sale and how you guys can kind of do the same as well so we're gonna go on Instagram here we're gonna go to post something let's choose a shoe um, I'm not actually gonna post it just because I posted all the stuff I needed to yesterday um, but I'll show you guys for example let's choose these we'll go just post it next so it's pretty much the same thing as Facebook um, it's good you'll see this layout it's pretty similar um, but I'll just say you know Jordan uh, one spider-man's going out now and we'll say size 8.5 is 500 size 14 is I think I'm at 300 and then that's all that's all it is man again I'm not gonna post it just because I already did um, but I just wanted to show you guys you click share boom you're good to go one thing to be wary of is to make sure you do have really good quality Instagram pictures when it comes to Instagram also Facebook as well but when it comes to Instagram um, you know the photo is the main thing the main substance on that app you know people want to see good photos so I try to take all my photos in natural light um, it makes it really easy it makes it really clear a lot of people like it it's really clean um, and I, as you saw I use the little turf square um, you can get that at Home Depot if you want or you can go and, and do your own thing you know you don't have to use turf like I do I see a lot of people starting to use it that's why I was gonna try and maybe think of a different way to post I think I'm gonna keep using it for now but you can use you know your driveway you know whatever your the grass outside your patio your porch deck whatever it might be um, just the floor if you don't want to do it outside you can do it inside but outside is where you're gonna get the best lighting the best photos possible again I do have a video on that as well if you want to check it out um, I'll try and link it here once again but again really really simple when it comes to Instagram it's not too difficult at all but I do get a lot of questions of you guys asking me you know where can you sell stuff and how can you sell stuff without using those apps and that's how you do it and I wanted to show you guys how simple it really was so the final few places that you could use to your advantage when selling sneakers is eBay uh, offer up Facebook marketplace which I didn't really get into this video um, but all those again really really simple it's pretty much the same kind of thing you just post the picture type in you know the info of the shoe and post it for sale um, it's, it's really simple I personally don't use those too much maybe eBay here and there um, but the reason I don't is only because I've kind of built my brand and my name already and so I have tons of buyers on Facebook and on Instagram that are ready to buy and I don't need to use those outlets as of right now um, but I did when I started I used eBay only it's the only thing I used um, that was before StockX and goat was even a thing as well as offer up I used a little bit um, kind of like Craigslist and stuff like that um, you guys can use Facebook marketplace I do still use to this day um, when you post to groups they'll give you an option to post to the marketplace as well and that's just like people in your local area will see those so it's definitely a good one to you know utilize and use to your advantage so one other thing I did want to touch on is a DM that I got um, actually this morning I got a DM right before I filmed this video and he was saying you know how is it possible to resell your your bricks you know your random cheap shoes without using StockX or goat and he wanted to know if it was even possible at all to do that um, and it definitely is I sell you know cheap random shoes all the time on Facebook and I'm gonna give you guys a little tip right here um, go on to Facebook groups um, again all the groups I showed you guys previous in this video and make a, th a for sale post on the group and say for sale thread a hundred dollars and under or hundred and fifty dollars and under and you can post all your shoes that are cheap on there people are gonna be interacting with that post that want to buy stuff that's under $150 as well as selling and you guys that's a huge tip I know a lot of people don't know that um, but it's a huge thing on Facebook to do and, and it gets sales moving it gets you know you to be able to find shoes for cheap um, it's a great way to go about things on Facebook so definitely look into that um, and make a post like that for sale you'll see some on those groups once you start joining them and getting accepted into those groups um, but definitely look out for that but yeah back to kind of that question is yeah it's, it's definitely a thing to sell cheap shoes and bricks on Facebook um, Instagram as well but but Facebook is where I, again I sell most of my stuff anyways for example this morning I sold a pair of like citrus sevens for I think it was like 80 bucks and uh, they were lightly worn and someone 
found them on Facebook that I posted and wanted to buy them. So, you know, it happens. You don't only have to have hype stuff or the new stuff. You can have, I mean, it was a 2004 pair of Citrus 7. So, you know, anything will sell. You just got to price it right and, and do your best to promote that. And be legit, you know, have references, all that kind of stuff, man. It's definitely possible to sell your bricks and your cheap shoes on Facebook. But that's about it for today's video, man, and, and how to sell um, without using those two apps, StockX and Goat, because I know a lot of people wanted to know that. And as long as those apps are around, obviously we're gonna have to use those as references to know what to price things at. Um, but that doesn't mean you have to sell on those apps or buy on those apps. It just means, you know, you have to use that as a guidance or guidelines um, to know what to sell stuff for. But yeah, man, with all that being said, make sure you do hit the subscribe button, man, on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Follow me on Instagram at Moose Track Shop. We're on the road to like 20,000 over there. Um, so check that out, man. Thanks again for watching. Love all you guys. Until next time, it's been your boy Moose. We out. Peace.